<laughs> Did you hear that? Absolutely no Hemi tick. Yeah, the 5W30 viscosity in this engine is still working out great. The fuel economy is still exactly where it was before. No ticking, no strange noises. It runs as smooth as butter. I just absolutely love it now. Uh, and I'm pretty happy that it was that easy to cure. So zero problems from running that viscosity. I mean, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but like I said, my engines will never see that 0W20 crap ever again. All right, guys, so I told you that the next video you see, we're going to talk about this multi-displacement system that's on these Hemi engines. And, uh, you know, some companies call it cylinder deactivation or active fuel management or whatever. There's all kinds of different names for it, but it's the same thing. You know, they turn off four of the cylinders on these V8s in hopes of saving some gas. So I've been doing some testing with this truck right here, uh, running a full tank on my normal commute every week with the system on run a tank with the system off, run a tank with it on. I've been doing this for several weeks now to get a good, uh, accurate trend line, a good representation of what's really going on here. And the results are pretty interesting. So check this out. All right, so here's a look at my fuely.com data. And you guys have heard me talk about this site before. I really like this site because it takes all of the guesswork out of it. It does hand calculations for you. So you just put in basically your odometer reading and how many gallons you put back into the truck each time and it will do the math for you and it keeps track of everything, gives you some nice bar graphs and all that kind of stuff. Um, so here's a, uh, a chart showing my last several uh, fill ups, but what we want to really focus on is this area right here at the end because this is where I was doing the testing with the multi displacement system on versus off. And what you can see on the graph very clearly here is that it was a little bit higher each time that I had the MDS system turned on. So you can kind of see how you know it was up and then it went down and then back up and then back down and then back up. So I was alternating tanks, you know, I would leave the MDS system on for a full tank and then I would shut it off every time I drove the truck for a full tank and then leave it back on for a full tank so alternating back and forth and you can clearly see the results right here uh, and again these are hand calculated numbers filling up at the same station using the same pump whenever I can driving the same roads the same commute to work every week um, you know trying to keep this as apples to apples as I possibly could and the results pretty much speak for themselves here so the answer to the question does the multi displacement system cylinder deactivation whatever you want to call it each automaker has their own term for it but it's all the same thing does it actually save any fuel and the answer is yes it does save fuel um, now the thing is how much fuel and the answer is not very much so if you look at the actual hand calculated results you know we go down here and start down here so with the system on there's a 14 and a half turned it off 14 1 turned it back on the next tank 14.4 turned it off and just shy of 14 Turned it back on again, and there's 14.3. So you're looking at just a few tenths of a mile per gallon here. Uh, we can call it about three tenths of a mile per gallon is the difference with MDS on. And this is in a 50-50 split, by the way, of city and highway driving. You know, driving around in town, driving around on the highways, doing a 50-50 split. So that combined window sticker number on the on the sticker that's the one i always look at when i'm shopping because i know that's where you know my driving style is is a mix of city and highway about a 50 50 split which is probably you know pretty representative of what uh, most guys are doing and uh, this also was with the rebel wheels and the duratrack tires on there so a 33 inch tire a little bit larger than stock uh, but that same wheel and tire combo is on here each time so this is what we end up with about three tenths of a mile per gallon is the advantage so money wise you're not talking a whole lot of savings there i mean maybe five to ten dollars a month something like that 
um, is what you're saving by uh, leaving the MDS system on. So the money savings is not much. Uh, some guys would argue that uh, in the long run, you're going to save yourself money by turning it off and making your engine uh, a little more reliable. You know, um, that's certainly an argument to be to be made. But but yeah, I mean the the results are pretty interesting. It's obvious to see in the chart here. Uh, when I was doing the testing that there is an advantage to the multi displacement system uh, but the advantage is just not a great one yeah so I thought that was kind of cool so I mean it's up to you you know you can run your engine however you want to uh, you know I know a lot of guys like to turn that MDS system off you know my Challenger has the same engine in it and I've got it turned off permanently with a tuner because uh, I really just don't like the system it's a lot smoother on this Ram of course, the Ram's 11 years newer, so you would expect it to be, but it is a lot smoother on the Ram than it is on my Challenger. Challenger, is, uh, you can really feel it engaging on the Challenger. You know, the Ram, though, you can still hear it, you know, especially now that I have that Dynomax exhaust on there. You can still hear it. It makes just a weird kind of disconcerting sound, you know, when it's kicking in and out of that mode. And uh, sometimes you can even feel it, you know, in the seat of your pants. So, you know, that, that shock from those uh, cylinders picking back up again real fast when you're going down the road, you know, especially if you're towing a trailer, you know, say you're towing a trailer down the road and uh, you're coming down a hill and then you go to pull back up another, you know, the other side of the hill, you're going, going back up again, you know, you got all that weight behind you and all of a sudden those cylinders kick in, uh, you know, that, that shock loading on the valve train, on the timing chain, everything else, it can't be good for these engines. And it's funny because the Dodge Challenger you know, about 10 years ago, there was actually a recall or at least a technical service bulletin on those for that. The engines that had the uh, multi-displacement system were snapping timing chains, and uh, it seemed like it only affected the engines that had the MDS system on there. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. But uh, bottom line is the system doesn't save you a whole lot. So if you want to turn it off and just drive with it off, you know, you don't have to feel like you're wasting a bunch of fuel because you're really not. So there you go, guys. You know, hopefully it's uh, entertaining, enlightening, educational for you. <laughs> Let me know what you guys have noticed with yours. Talk to you later.